Is this normal? This is a drain that we put in. This is the bulb. Sometimes we refer to this as a grenade and you can see it has a funny shape because it's under pressure. In order to create the vacuum, we squeeze this and then we just cover it up, close it, and that creates a suction vacuum. So the question is, is this normal? That's what the patient just asked me. She's had a tummy tuck. She's uh, about 10 days out. This color here was a little bit concerning for her. And I asked her why was it concerning? She said, well, because I, I, the color seems darker than it should be. And shouldn't it be lighter at this point? And that's exactly right. So she really kind of already knows how things should be. But typically what happens is after surgery, the drains go in, they capture the fluid, which is the lymphatic fluid. It's a clear fluid, but at the beginning it's tinged with blood. And so it's always more of a bright red blood color mixed with the lymphatic fluid. So it gives you kind of like a light red color. And then as time goes on, typically that light red color becomes less red and it just becomes a straw, what we call a straw colored fluid. So just a clear serous fluid. It's just like an, a yellow. It's kind of like pee, the color of pee in a way. And that's normal. And then that drainage goes down and then we remove the drains. But some people, have a darker color to their drains and it usually happens after a week and the reason that this is dark is that she has a little bit of blood clot inside the abdomen not something that we need to go back and remove it's not that big but there's a little pocket there and that blood clot is now starting to dissolve her body is dissolving the blood clot. And as that blood clot starts to come out, it's still mixed with the serous fluid, that straw colored fluid. You can see it's kind of, if you shake it, there's a little bit of clearness to it as well. But the dark color is just the old blood. So it's almost like she has sort of a very deep bruise and that bruise is going away, that blood clot is going away and it's coming out the drain. So we normally, when we see this, it means we're gonna keep the drains in a little bit longer because we want this fluid to then be come clear after all of that blood clot has been dissolved. This is not a lot of fluid. This is probably only 10 cc's in here. And if you think of like a little medicine cup with a NyQuil cup or one of those things, that's 30 cc's, the little medicine things. This is only about 10 cc's. So it's about a third of that little medicine cup. So it looks kind of dramatic. It's concerning for patients, but as long as everything looks good and there's no sign of infection, or there's no sign of very, any big blood clot, which is doing well, then we just say, yeah, there's a little blood clot in there that's dissolving and it'll go away and once this starts to change color and become a little bit more lighter it means the blood clot is gone your body's dissolved that and then we can just remove the drain like we normally do there's different colors to the drains the only one that's really kind of bad that we say is bad is if this color is milky and looks like pus and it is pus and then that's a totally different story then in that situation we need to reoperate but if it's bright red if it's the straw color fluid or if it's got a little darkness to it all of that is fine and we just keep the drain in place your body heals it and it would never have to intervene to do anything if it's the milky color with the pus that's a totally separate situation that requires surgery because there's an infection and we have to go and open things up and remove the drains that doesn't happen very often that we have someone come in with a drain like that but this is something that is a little bit more common so it's just good to know